After completing the complete level books, the first one is named the complete level one, which includes 1A and 1B, uh, and the book two of the complete course involves books two and three within one book. And then we were presented with our experiments, uh, a, a different problem emerged, that for certain students, this was a lot of books to handle. If they studied from a lesson book, theory book, recital book, that was three books. We, we have a lot more uh, depending upon the need of the student. But I always thought of those three as the core books. And occasionally you can leave out the recital book, I think the theory book is an essential book, but uh, the student was receiving multiple assignments from various books, and, and, and it's a chore. Carrying those books to the lessons it involves a, a, a weight that you're carrying if you're coming from school. So we came up with the idea of, uh, and it's not an original idea, but it was a good idea, and that is somehow combining within one book the lesson theory and recital books. And so what we did is include in an all-in-one course the lesson book, but the lesson book was complete. We then inserted the theory pages where they should be and the recital solos where they should be, and then eliminated where we thought the repetition was excessive and so now, instead of carrying three books and studying from three books, the student had only one book to play from, and it was sequential. So you're assigned page 12, you know that page 13, 14, 15 comes next. You don't have to look for two more books and then look for the page you play from. It was a simpler method to teach and assign pages to the student and for certain students, it was good enough. It contained the same material, but it was better integrated. And it turned out, there's a, especially nowadays, um, it was less expensive. And uh, with all students have to do nowadays, sometimes making a little less is a good thing.